Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would share some tips and holistic habits, if you will, that you can include into your life to help better yourself in 2021 and onwards. These are all things that I'm working on and incorporating into my daily routine just to help me heal body, mind, and spirit and be the best version of myself that I can be. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And this video is brought to you by iHerb. I've been shopping with iHerb for many years now. I'm a very happy customer. They have over 30,000 natural products to choose from, everything from supplements, foods, natural beauty. They ship to over 180 different countries. Their products are shipped from climate controlled distribution centers. So that ensures the quality of the products. They offer customer service 24 hours a day, seven days a week in 10 different languages. And their shipping rates are great as well. That's something living in Canada, sometimes we don't get the best shipping rates, but iHerb has lots of options for Canada. They have DHL, UPS and Landmark Global. So in this video, I will be featuring some of my favorite things from iHerb, some of the things that I personally use, and I will have it all linked below in the description box if you're interested. But let's get on with the video. So my first tip is to create a morning routine for happiness and success. When you wake up in the morning, instead of checking your phone or your social media, instead check in with yourself. So. Every day when I wake up, I just lay in bed for a few minutes and I simply give thanks for, you know, having a warm bed to sleep in, having my comfy birch mattress, having my crystals that I hold in my hand while I sleep. I give thanks for my family. Really just be thankful for what you have in life instead of always thinking about things you don't have and things you need to have in the future. Just be grateful for all the blessings that you already have. I just like to start my day off with a positive mindset. Even if I'm feeling really down or sad or depressed, I still try to you know, have that positive mindset because that can really change your day around. And then I go and I have my green drink right away. I have my matcha or my golden milk. And I just try to take time to nourish myself first thing in the morning instead of just jumping into, you know, electronics and, and the hectic world. And then I'll go and get ready for the day. So I'll do my skincare and shower. But while I'm doing that, I love to listen to positive music. So Maybe I'll listen to a guided meditation or some meditation music. I've been listening to a lot of 432 Hertz music, um, hand pan music, just things that are going to raise my vibration. I'm very conscious now about what I consume, whether that be food, the music I'm listening to, the movies I'm watching. I just try to consume things that are going to bring value to my life. So one of my main focuses this year is to help relieve stress and anxiety and just be as happy as I can be instead of always having this worry and this fear because I think mental health is so important, especially in this day and age. So one thing that I have been doing for relaxation is taking a bath. I rarely took baths before because I just didn't have a proper tub to really um, lay in but now I have my dream bathtub which I am so so grateful for and I've discovered how relaxing having a bath can be and I really love adding things into the bath just to make it even more relaxing so I have a few things here from my herb that I've been using in the bath so I have pure magnesium flakes these ones are from life flow and they're from the ancient Zechstein I don't know if I'm saying that right, Zechstein uh, seabed, and it's for body and foot soaks. Magnesium is so good for relaxing your muscles. If you're stressed out, it's gonna help relax you. If you've had a workout and you're feeling you know, sore, magnesium is great for that. And I especially love using magnesium flakes before bed. It just calms you down and helps you get a good night's sleep. And then I also picked out a few different mineral baths from Aura Cassia. These are just kind of like a bath salt that has essential oils so you get all those aromatherapy benefits. So they're super relaxing and you just dissolve it into your bathtub super easy and then you can just 
relax and take in all the beautiful aromas from the essential oils. And then another thing that I love for the bath is the Dr. Singha's mustard bath. So this is just kind of like a classic. I remember using this so many years ago. Um, it has a therapeutic blend of essential oils from wintergreen, eucalyptus, rosemary, and thyme. It says Dr. Singha recommended his Ayurvedic formula as an aid in relieving many ailments. These include stress, muscle, joint soreness, congestion, skin conditions, periodic tensions and sleeplessness and I know a lot of us don't have a bathtub but honestly you can make your shower so relaxing a product that you can use in both the shower and the bath is this Aeromir Oromir, I don't know how to say it again, um, Ayurvedic Mud Bath and Mask. And I was drawn to this product just because it had so many good reviews. It just has a mixture of different clays. So it has things like Fuller's Earth, Red Clay. It has a ton of different Ayurvedic herbs. And yeah, it says use in place of soap or as a facial mask or body pack mixed with water to form a cleansing mud paste but there's so many different things you can do with this you can use it as a body scrub you can use it as a body or face mask you can even use it as a mouthwash um, it has so many nourishing things for the skin but yeah it's just a really cool multi-purpose product that you can use in both the bath and the shower so i wanted to show you guys that and then another thing that i am passionate about for helping to relieve anxiety is herbs in particular, my favorite herb, which is organic ashwagandha. So this one is the Himalaya brand. So this is clinical strength extract. And it says here, often referred to as Indian ginseng, ashwagandha is noted for its ability to fortify adrenal function energy and stress levels and is not a cardiac stimulant and another way you can consume ashwagandha or other calming herbs is through tea like this tulsi ashwagandha tea from organic india iherb carries so many different teas from my favorite brands we have some of my favorite traditional medicinal teas we have the organic india tea i love the tulsi turmeric ginger adding a bit of honey and lemon in there oh so good but yeah teas are one of the best ways to consume herbs and what I love about drinking herbal tea not black tea but herbal tea is that you're also getting that hydration so this is another tip that you can incorporate into your life I like to make a big big pot of tea in the morning and then I drink that throughout the day and that kind of forces me to get my hydration since I'm not a big water drinker but I love the tea because I'm getting the hydration plus the benefits from the herbs so moving on I have some holistic oral care tips for you guys you know how I love natural makeup and clean beauty clean skincare all that good stuff but i feel like sometimes i don't talk about you know mouth health teeth your teeth your gums so of course something that i'm going to be trying to incorporate again into my life is oil pulling so i have the organic coconut oil here that's my favorite oil to oil pull with oil pulling is an ancient ayurvedic practice and it involves swishing oil in your mouth so i just put about a tablespoon of coconut oil in my mouth and swish that around for about 15 to 20 minutes and that helps remove bacteria from your mouth so it helps your gums it freshens your breath and it's just overall a great thing to have in your oral care routine my dad oil pulls every single day he never misses a day sometimes he'll oil pull twice a day so he's kind of my oil pulling inspiration but i want to get back into doing it every single day because it's so good for your gum health and just your overall health and speaking of gums and oil pulling i have this dr tongue's rejuve this is a natural gum therapy it helps receding gums or any sort of gum problems it has 24 organic or wild crafted herbs and botanicals and my sister-in-law sarah ashley swears by this product it's really helped her gums out so i decided to start using it as well and you can just massage it into your gums or else you can even put a few drops into your oil pulling oil to help with that. And another thing that I feel isn't really talked about very much is tongue scraping. So this is the Dr. Tongue's Copper Tongue Scraper and I highly recommend a copper one because it's antibacterial and Tongue scraping is an ancient Ayurvedic practice, just like oil pulling. And traditionally, I believe a copper um, utensil is used. So you just 
scrape your tongue with this and that's going to remove bacteria from your tongue it's going to help freshen your breath but something else that it helps with is digestion if your tongue is coated with stuff it can't signal the right digestive enzymes to help digest your food so scraping your tongue is a way to get rid of all that coating and that's going to help with your digestion and overall health so oral health is so important for just your general health and then i had to mention one of my all-time favorite products these little neem toothpicks i love these so much my dad loves these too they are just ayurvedic toothpicks and they have neem bark extract cinnamon oil peppermint oil spearmint oil and fennel oil and they taste so good so i just keep these in my purse and instead of chewing gum or taking mints i just kind of use one of these i just kind of chew on them and get that flavor and it freshens my breath so i love these i highly highly recommend these little toothpicks they're way better than any other toothpicks so those are a few of my tips and holistic habits to help better yourself in 2021 and make it the best year possible because we need all the help that we can get. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember that you can start your new year's whenever you want. You know, I think people make new year's resolutions and sometimes don't follow through and then they're just like okay i'll wait till next year next year will be better but in reality you can start your new year's any day of the year you can start it in june you know if life isn't going too good you always have that option to just start doing things that will better yourself and help you be happier and healthier and you know just have a better quality of life. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!